Hi guys, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to you. I don't know when this video is going up, but hopefully within that period where it's still reasonable to wish Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. So end of the year, doing a lot of like reflection and a lot of thinking about the future and like what are my new goals and plans for 2022. And um, one of them is definitely to start YouTube again. I mean, I have always had a lot of fun doing YouTube and I really love being able to share things that I learned on YouTube and really have a positive impact on the social media space. And I think that is something that I really cherish a lot about going into YouTube. But, you know, work gets in a way and so many things have changed and I definitely think I need to film some kind of a live update if you're even interested at all in what has been going on in my life. But more of maybe share the lessons that I've learned and um, if you are someone out there who is also going through pivoting during this period of time and maybe even in the future that some of these lessons might hopefully be useful or helpful um, to walk alongside with you on your journey. Today I'm going to share with you guys what are some questions and kind of like survey or reflection questions and goal setting questions I did for me and um, my team at Company of the Brave. I have one person in the team so it's just the two of us. It's a very small team. Something that if you are a business owner or even if you're part, if you're working and you can suggest this to your boss or to your team leader to do, it's something that I think we found very useful um, and I just had this idea kind of like a spur of the moment because I was doing my own personal reflections and goals and a lot of the uh, content or the questions were inspired or even came about from listening to other people's videos um, like the video that Lavender did she has a very good year-end reflection and goal setting video and also um, I was attending this workshop conducted by Crystal and Greg organized by Rachel Lim and you can go and check it out on her Instagram page so this is basically like inspired by all these questions that I've heard. So I'm going to share with you some of the questions and also share with you a little bit of my reflections because hopefully that will help you have a better idea of how the questions work and how it helps you with your reflections and goal settings for 2022. 2022. 2022. So the first question or the first part of the exercise is basically a rating question where you rate all the different types of tasks you have been doing in your company or in your role at work. So for us, the question was rate the different types of tasks you do at Company of the Brave and rate them between one to five. So there are two types of rating. The first rating is to rate how good you think you are at that task, like how confident you feel when you approach the task. So five being very skilled and very confident and one being you don't feel skilled, you feel inadequate in tackling this task and you don't feel as confident. The second rating is whether or not you enjoy the process. So do you love the process? If you love it, it's a five. If you don't enjoy the process as much, it's a one or a zero. So you can basically rate the task that you are evaluating from one and five with these two different ratings in mind. The first one being how confident or how skilled you feel you are at the task. And the second one, how much do you enjoy the process of doing this task. One of the tasks that I do a lot in uh, Company of the Brave is graphic design and I would say that I feel I'm relatively quite skilled at it. I would give myself a 3.5 upon 5 because I feel like there's so much more I can um, so much more skills I can pick up, so much more work I can do. I'm very happy with the work I've done. Um, I don't exactly feel inadequate. Sometimes I do feel challenged but in a good way. So I enjoy when there is a task that I need to do a little bit of research and a bit of tutorial searching but I'm happy because it's challenging me in a healthy manner. I don't feel overwhelmed. So in terms of how much do I enjoy the process of graphic design, I have given myself a 4.5 because I really do enjoy the whole process of it, searching for inspiration, um, finding suitable uh, fonts and looks that would go with the kind of theme or brand design that we're trying to go for a certain project. I prefer uh, work that allows me to do some kind of research. So after rating it, um, you can also write how detailed you want to describe because sometimes the task may be too broad or might be too open-ended and say within that task there are actually a lot of subtasks which makes you feel very differently about each task. Feel free to make it as micro as you want or as macro as you want. The other two boxes that you can fill out after rating the task that you did is your reflections on what you feel about the way you have rated and how you feel about this doing this task and if there's any um, issues or 
uh, new challenges that you would like to address, then that would lead to the action plan and goal setting for this particular task. Is there anything that you need to implement to improve your experience? Is there anything that you need to do to tackle the challenges that you face? Or is there any new things you want to add that would bring you to the next level or to make your task even more enjoyable? The second question is more about work processes and the way um, if you have a system, if you don't have a system, or how you have been communicating with the people that you work with, whether it's your boss, your team members, or your clients. So the question I'm asking myself is, what is something I would like to tweak about the way I work with my team or my clients? So this is kind of like looking for things that are slightly more negative. When we look for things that are negative, we also follow it up with what we can do for the new year that can help to tackle this issue. So I think for me, um, the last six months has been a season of saying yes and a lot of exploration so I said yes to a lot of different types of projects I said yes to challenging projects it became a little bit overwhelming and as such I had to put in a lot of time um, and I had to sacrifice a lot of time for other things in order to finish up my task so moving forward for the year 2022 I would actually like to start saying no um, and start filtering out the task uh, the work projects or work opportunities that are maybe not so suitable for our goals moving forward and I want to be able to have more time to do weekly calls with my team which is something that um, was in a back burner because every day was just so incredibly rushed. The second question um, is what is something you would like to keep about the way we currently work? So that is a positive thing. You can share up to one of three things. If there is something positive you like to list and you have more than three go for it man and I would say well done to you. So something I would like to keep for in the way I've worked with my in my team um, but I also like to implement it to with my clients is using these technologies remote working project management technologies like Asana. The Asana app has been really useful between uh, for managing work with me and my team members and also one of my clients has adopted this uh, technology in the way we communicate and project plan together so that was very useful. I also love using frame.io if you are working on video editing projects um, go check out Frame.io. I've been using it and it's free and uh, it's basically a very easy way of leaving comments on videos for editing. And the last one is my love for Canva and I know because I do a lot of uh, graphic design, social media stuff, Canva is a lot more useful but I also find Canva really useful for um, for example, if you need to share certain documents with people, if you need to share workflows, presentations, these are all really useful. The next question is about, it's more of like self-reflection and finding out why you like certain things and what, what made certain projects or clients have an environment that is not as fun or not as satisfying or not as enjoyable and that's how you can fine-tune the process of your work environment or work projects. So the question I ask is which is your favorite client and why? Or you can say which is your favorite project and why? And then the follow-up question is which is your least favorite project and why? And this will really help you to understand yourself and to build in certain mechanics that help you to make the project your future project or future work better. One of my favorite projects that I was working on was this animation illustration project that I did for Capella and I really enjoyed it because I love the storytelling aspect. I also enjoy pushing myself a little bit and I also love illustration. So that's one of the reasons why that was one of my favorite highlight projects of the year. I realized that projects that have proper time management and um, give projects proper time to be done are the ones that I enjoy more. Um, those that are rushed projects are usually the ones that I find most stressful, most overwhelming and maybe I don't enjoy the process as much. This next question is more of a general question which is what is your work reflection for the work year 2021? And uh, as I mentioned before, for me, 2021 was definitely a year of experimentation, a lot of pivoting, a lot of movement for me. Every three, two to three months, there is some change. So um, while I'm really, really proud of myself for embarking on all these challenges and saying yes to projects that honestly made me a little bit frightened, but um, I'm very happy that I did it and I jumped into it. So now is the time for 2021 to just scale back a little bit. So the final question is, what is your work goals for 2022? Looking at 2021, 
my reflection and goal for year 2022 is to really fine tune the systems, fine tune uh, how I work on projects and the, what kind of projects I want to work for Company of the Brave, what kind of systems we're going to put in place. And then the final question that I put in there was, what are some personal goals or intentions you, would, you wouldn't you would mind sharing with the team? And I think sometimes there are a lot of personal things that you don't want to share in a work environment. And I think that is fine because you don't really need must share with everybody um, things that are personal to you but there might be one or two things that maybe it might be beneficial for your team to know that this is on your mind that this is your goals for the next year so that they can kind of support you and that the work can also um, support i know it sounds very like new age like how can your work support your life but i guess that is really what i believe work is meant to support your life not the other way around like your life is not supposed to support your work i think if that's what you agree with you know drop me a thumbs up leave a comment on what you think about the questions and yeah if you have any work goals for 2022 let me know in the comments below if you would like to have these questions or see the template for these questions definitely head over to instagram at company of the brave and i will be posting these questions in a carousel post over there so i'll see you in the next one bye